Yeah, it's really disappointing for us. We um, prepared well for this game. We were up for it before, but, uh, you know, we, we lacked a little bit of quality. We lacked a little bit of cohesion. Um, and they score a couple of fantastic goals and we can't answer. And yeah, overall, just really disappointing way to, to come here and, and, and leave with nothing and feeling like we should have done, could have done more. Any other questions for Mason? James. Mason, I know you haven't appeared in all three matches so far this year, but what's your general your general thoughts on sort of how the team has progressed in recent years? Yeah, it's um we felt okay with the first uh obviously the results. Um but there were some good moments and you know, we're you know, the start of a new season, there's gonna be some ups and downs. We would like to have more points on the board after those first two games, especially. But again, there's a lot of positives we could take from it. Um, and then it does it, you know, it feels like we, we lacked something tonight. So we'll need to go back to the drawing board to figure out uh, what went wrong exactly here tonight. Um, so up and down and not, not obviously how we would like to have started uh, this season. Mason, anything you can take for the next game? Any, anything that you can teach the boys for the next game? It's always tough right after the game. You know, we're just in the locker room now trying to figure out what, what happened out there. And, you know, your, your adrenaline still going after the game, having just played. So I'm sure there'll be uh, positives and negatives to take from that. But again, it wasn't a good performance. And we will need to get back on the training pitch. Luckily, we have, I think, eight or nine days here until our home opener. Um, so there'll be some work to do to... Uh, you know, get the group firing on all cylinders before uh, we play Pacific on May 1, that's for sure. Roman. Is there any special thoughts about playing against, uh, you know, the coaches, the coaches come here, goal scorers come here, uh, you know, playing against guys that you've seen over the years and now they're playing against you? There wasn't anything uh, special. I mean, that happens in, in, in this sport and uh, those guys were a big part of our team when, when they were with the Cavalry and um, you know, we know what they can do. We, we obviously know a lot about Martin and his philosophy and his style. We know a lot about the players as well, having played with them. So we tried to stop a few, you know, we, we obviously want to stop them. We didn't do that tonight with Oliver's goal. Quite a fantastic goal. I think if you're asking him, um, very, very strong finish. But again, we, we can do better, I think. And um, it's disappointing to to lose the game, and especially when, when some of our ex-guys play, play a big role in that. Are you planning to change your system? Uh, that's not really a question for me. So not, not that I know of. You can ask, ask the boss when he's in here. Any other questions in the room? OK, Nate, we can jump to the Zoom portion, please, if you can. Guys, if there's any questions on the Zoom here, just use the hand raise icon. We're good, Mason. Thank you for okay, Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Hi, guys. Okay, guys, same rules apply. We'll take questions in the room first, and then we'll jump to the zoom portion. Uh, Charlie. Uh, let's just start with the, the overall. I'm sure it's a, a tough one to take. Just what do you think was maybe the difference today? Um, I, I, I listen. I think, you know, credit to Martin and his group. I think the right team won. So we got no complaints. I mean, this is football. You know, you got to put your hand up when you don't deserve to win. I don't think we deserve to win because I think their details are right. You know, I've just seen some of the stats there and, you know, we dominated in possession, but possession is the worst stat to have because it can make you vulnerable. And they just counted very, very well. They were defensively organized and, you know, they deserve their three points. And uh, I've sat here before, this is the first time they beat us. So I've got to take it on the chin and say, look, well done. Uh, just, you know, up front, I know you guys were kind of trying a few different things, Ali and, and Maya swap sides. Mm -hmm. Was there something maybe missing in the final third? Yeah, I, I, it worked like last week it was really sharp, but I mean, they, they played well. I think Jordan Wilson and Verhoeven sat in front of Zator and Thompson. They played a very physical game. I think within the first five, 10 minutes of the game, they've made about five or six key fouls. 
and they did it with purpose, right? It was disruptive and stopped our flow. And, you know, and then we have a chance to get into their box and we were just taking that extra touch. It just it didn't click today, but you get those games. Coach, are you planning to change the, the lineup, maybe the system to kind of fresh up a little bit? Uh, we'll review that. I think it's it's always I never I never make answers to that on an emotional brain. We're disappointed to to lose in which will, but we'll do you know we'll do our prognosis on why we lost, and then we'll look at what corrections we need to make in training. So we have got nine days to to make a difference. You were started strong at, at the beginning. Um, why do you think it happened? What do you think the boys kind of? melt down a little bit? Yeah, do you know what? It's momentum. This this whole league is about momentum, and. Uh, I think generally the team that scores first, then they, you know their tails lifted. Had we scored early, and I said when we had the entries into their box, if we'd have you know connected with them, then suddenly now they're on the back foot. And I think what that did was you know it got their tails up, and they they committed to their game plan even more, and then it made it slightly harder for us. But well, like I said, we'll we'll review the tape, and and then then we'll have a better idea. James, Tommy. I was racking my brain trying to think of if this club has ever had a three-game winning streak in the history of this league. Is that one of the risks associated with this away, this away heavy start you guys have? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's your forever first. I think sometimes... Uh... Sometimes you got to take the bad ones as well as the good ones, and I think that's that's one of the bad ones we don't want to be in. But I just said to the lads there, I said, you know, I don't care how they are when things are going their way what i care about now is the spirit they have when it doesn't that shows me the character and you know now we've got time to work on it and and we get to respond and uh, you and martin are back on speaking terms this week right yeah no i think i owe him a dinner for, for that one but now listen like i said he's coached his ass off they've worked well and they've committed to his game plan so you know credit for him i'm, I'm happy for him in a different way um but look, we'll, we've got three more games against him any more questions for coach in the room? Robin? Um, you had a, uh, some card trouble there. Not the next year game tonight, but, um, you know, as the, as the season carries on, those yellow cards add up. Is that just you're thinking that part that there might be trouble? Yeah, no, we've got, we got to fix that. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a great observation. I, I don't like the amount of yellow cards, and some I think you know are contentious. Others that yeah, we deserve to have them, and, and they're the ones that you know I think it comes with you know the reading of the game from our, you know screening of the game. I think these are details. We play a very aggressive game, and we've been caught out a bit, and hence why I tend to pick them up. But that's something we can address next week with a bit more work. Any more questions in the room for Tom? Nate, we'll jump to the Zoom portion of the press conference if we can. We're good. Tommy, thank you very much for your time. Okay. Thanks, guys. First goal for the tonight. Press conference. There's any questions? So, uh, Charlie. It's a great feeling as a group, and I think the the team's performance today was amazing, tactically perfect, and uh, we deserve the win. Can you just maybe walk through the goal a little bit? I mean, it's a great header and a very difficult one diving. Is that, is that something that you kind of worked on or, or something? Uh, I, yeah, I think inside the box, it's more instinct. So as soon as I saw Isaiah turned, I tried to make my, my run, and the, the, he put a great ball in. And there, it's you don't have much time to think. It's instinct. Thank you. James. How much was uh, tonight's result a culmination of all the work you guys have put in preseason and yeah, as I said, we really needed it. It's a big win against uh, one of the top teams in the league. So I think for, for our confidence, for the group to, to believe in what we're doing, it's, it's huge. And uh, we've been working a lot. It's not easy. Uh, we have a young squad and uh, we're putting things 
together as a club. And uh, I think it's a, a statement win to to put us on the right track now. What can you say of the young Di Rosario as a fellow forward? You know, two goals, two great goals. Yeah, he's he, he's doing great. Uh, his his work rate as well. I think he puts himself in in good positions to to score, and uh, <laughs> I hope he keeps scoring for us. He's helping us a lot. Any more questions for Oliver in the room, Ben? And uh, you you played a good chunk with uh, Noah Verhoeven. And you linked up well tonight. What do you see from him? Noah, uh, great left foot, a lot of quality. And uh, I think he, he helps us a lot in possession. So today we, we had a good game overall. Everyone everyone had a good performance. Uh, we moved the ball well. Defensively, we were great. We didn't give any chances. I don't I don't think they had a shot on target until the, the end when, when they hit the post. So it was just teamwork. And uh, I think that's the, the highlight for tonight. Selfie. What's your feeling playing against your best Uh Yeah, I mean, when the game starts, uh, we know how it is. There are no friends. We want to get the win. And uh, I know I'm friends with many of the guys on the other team, but it was, was all business tonight. We did what we had to do. And uh, hopefully we can grow from, from this win. Any other questions for Oliver in the room? Nate, any questions on Zoom? Sorry, Robin just has one here. Uh, well, this is uh, starting a home stand tonight. So, how important was it to win this game? Because you've got two more games at home to draw in the crowd and you know move up the table. Of course, we have to use our home advantage. Uh, that's going to be. A big thing for us if we can get as many people out here to support us as well that's going to be important and uh we have another big game against ottawa they're a direct rival in in the fight for the top four they're doing well great form so hopefully this this win also brings more people out for for next week Nate, anything on the zoom call? sorry we just have another question in the room here. oliver is your first uh, shot your first goal any special indication any, anybody on your family? Actually, uh, today, this, this goal all dedicated to João. He's a good friend of mine from Halifax. And uh, as we all know, he's, he's out for the season. It's always sad to see players uh, with, with that type of injury. So I'll dedicate the, this goal for him. And obviously, my, my family, my close friends, they're, they're always with me, supporting me. So they know, they know there's something special for them. Anything on Zoom, Nate? We're good, Ali. Thanks, bud. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Okay, now the monkey's off his back. Um. Questions in the room first, we'll jump to Zoom, though I doubt there's anything there for us. Uh, we'll keep it nice and intimate, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Charlie, over to you first, please. Um, I don't know if there's a more fitting team to get your first win in this <laughs> club against. Uh, let's start with kind of your overall thoughts on, on the match. What made the difference? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought we uh, we came out of the gates a little bit slow at the start, to be honest. We kind of felt them out a little bit, but uh, I thought we were really good in the first half. I thought we could add two. To be honest, and maybe even three, we had, we created a bunch of chances. And um, what really pleased me about the first half, we didn't let them create much. Uh, they did have a lot of great chances. They got in some good areas, but we really snuffed it out well, and um, we're really good in the defensive end. Uh, I just want to ask about Isaiah you know, playing in a bit of a more advanced role yeah. than he did last year. You know, what do you, what have you told him about that, and what have you seen from him in these two games? Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's one of those players that uh, helps us dominate the midfield. He's athletic. He's strong. He's really good technically. Um, and uh, I, I just felt it, felt it was a spot that we could use him because um, uh, he's really good in the defense side of the ball, but he's also really good in the attack side of the ball. So it kind of it, it gives him a little bit more freedom when he plays deeper. He has less freedom to create and play. Um, so I just I think it's a good area for him to to, to create and have that freedom when uh, you know he's going to do the defensive work as well. Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, Thanks. Any old flash memories playing against your own team? <laughs> ah, you know, it's always, uh, you know, it's, fun, it's funny that you, you love the win, but you're always kind of, you know, it's spent three years at the, at the club and, uh, you know, staff are great friends to this day. And um, so, 
you know, I feel for them in some ways, but I'm really happy that uh, we got the win. But also the biggest thing for me was the um, the way in which we went up about the game today. I thought it was a fantastic performance from our team start to finish. James. Well, what did you see from Oliver today? He took his goal very well. Is that sort of what, what you wanted from him? Yeah, absolutely. He's a clever player, really clever player. He's um, he's really good technically. He plays quick. He sees sees a pass and uh, he's really good on the ball. So, and I think the thing that people may don't realize is so remember that he had seven goals first year. He's a, he's a good goal scorer. He's good in the box. And um, I thought his kind of bringing another senior player into a young team that trains right, plays right, does all the little things um, on and off the field. I think it was good for our young players to see and um, and you know to emulate and grow using, you know, what he's showing them. How much was that performance, was that performance as a whole a big step forward for this club in terms of the players understanding what it is you want? Yeah, I think I, I think if you look at it, it, was I mean, this performance in particular was a big step for us. I, I, I agree. But I think if you look at them, um, there was – it was a bit up and down. Um, I don't feel we deserve to lose, but, you know, we, had to, we took the loss. And then I think we improved second game. We were a bit more organized, I would say. I think when we really gave them the one chance after we scored and they scored. Um, and then today I thought we really limited an excellent team today to minimal amount of chances and, and kept them um, from bulging the back of our net, although uh, we tried to give them one at the end. But, uh, no, it was a great performance. I'm proud of the guys. and. Um, the effort they put into the game was uh, the reason we got the result. Brandon, I can just about um, see you there. <laughs> just curious, um, on the right wing, then obviously with the back cross ball, the back going back up and in there, a little bit of concern that, oh no, it, it's going to turn into one of these. Oh, no, not this again sort of situation. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that we had the one goal. You always felt we could score again, um, which is a, is a positive thing. Once you get one, it, it uh, I think the outlook for the team is always we can get another one. Uh, I think it was Osazi missed a great chance. It seemed a great chance. I have to look at it back at, right at the death of the half. Um, so when a couple of don't get your way, but it's because we'd already scored, you kind of felt that we could get that other one. Um, and uh, we did create a, a couple good opportunities as well. And, uh, Mosazi again took his goal well from outside the box. He uh, he uh, took his time and got into space, and it was a really good finish. I was going to ask, um, you know, you say there, there's that feeling of if, if you're running on a long goal push, the you know, team can generally score again. And we saw Salve do mm -hmm. that from a good, I don't know, 25, 30 yards out. Just how, you know, how has Osaze been for, for a club for the last game? Yeah, I mean, I mean, he we had him for for six or seven games. So he came in in preseason and he did everything he was doing, but didn't, wasn't scoring the goals in preseason. But uh, he came in, worked hard, put his head down, and um, you see how hard he works on the pitch. He gives everything for the team, and holds the ball well. He, he fights for every ball, um, and you know, it's he's getting his just rewards. To be fair, for the work he's putting in with two great finishes and two two quality goals. Um, to start his career here at York United. York United, sorry. Cut that out. We just edit. Really work the magic. Thank you. Ben. And uh, just again on Nozaze, he's in great form, but early in his career, how do you handle his workload before he's in great form? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't want to overdo it. He, uh, he, he ran himself ragged there at the end and, um, you know, and needed to come off for the last 10 minutes, but. Uh, he's athletic, physical, and, you know, we got to keep as many guys as fresh as we can going uh, through the season, especially forward. So with Lowell coming back, um, he's back in town tonight, I believe. Um, we'll give a, a lift up front as well. And with uh, Austin signing, and he's been training well for three weeks. So he got uh, 10 minutes, just get a, a feel for it. And we'll slowly get him back in, into the mix as well. So it's with having options, we won't have to overload any of our strikers, hopefully. Any more questions in the room for the gaffer? Are you planning to get any more reinforcement, uh, maybe to rotate the offense? Um, we have a full squad at the moment. Um, so uh, we, the only one we're waiting on is Lissandro um, to come in from Argentina. So, uh, But that should be uh, any any day now. He's just waiting to get his passport back, his visa is approved. And then um, with Lowell coming back and 
Austin signing and Osazi. I think we've got plenty of attacking players to see us through a season. And what do you tell the boys on the second half to keep the momentum going? Yeah, I mean, I just said, you know, it's a great first half, but it's only a half. Um, we we got to gotta continue it in the second half. We've got to be even better, and we got to see this game out um, and really emphasize getting a clean sheet because I, I think we deserved one in, uh, in maybe both games this season. So it was good to get that first clean sheet in our belt. Any other questions for Mr. Nash in the room, Robin? Uh, well, this was the first game of the home stand for you, mm -hmm. and so you're gradually moving out the table. Uh, how important is it to keep the momentum going and to bring in the fans? Yeah, it's important. Uh, you know, it seemed like another good crowd tonight. It didn't, I don't know how many people were here, but they, they were into the game. They were loud, and I think we gave them a good game and a good effort. So we just got to look to do the same, keep building. Um, now we got our first win. We keep building from here. Um, you know, we, we got to keep improving. You know, we're, we're not the famous article. We got to put our heads down and work every day. Um, you know, every game in this league is going to be a close game. You know, every team, there's no teams blowing teams out in this league. So uh, you got to be at your best every day to get results. Any more questions in the room, Nate? Um, presumably that we're okay on Zoom. Yeah. Uh, Matthias, go ahead. Yeah. Congratulations on the win, coach. Uh, um, just a couple of words about the, the defense. Uh, maybe the performance of uh, Thompson and uh, Ensa. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, not just Thompson and Ensa, which, who had great games. I thought also Dominic Zator was a beast. Um, Picked up a lot of loose balls. I thought Abzi had a lot of energy. Uh, he got forward at times and defended extremely well. And they put a tricky, pacey player on at the end to, to try to get him behind uh, Abzi. And he did really well to cover him and snuff him out. Um, so I thought that our back four was immense tonight. Uh, and our back four has that ability to be that 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 good uh, weekly. So, uh, you know, we got to keep working and uh, we got to protect them too. I thought uh, you go through the team, I thought the holding midfielders really protected the space between them and the back four so there wasn't pockets to play in uh we condensed their space and didn't give them um a lot of a, a lot of room in the middle of the park so i thought that was a big key to the game 